Hello, everybody. Welcome to Shibuya. Right there is the Halloween, new Halloween symbol for Shibuya. I like how they've taken the first kanji in it and turned it into a jack-o'-lantern. And it says here, no events for Halloween on the Shibuya streets, right in front of the station. How you doing, everybody? In this episode, I'm gonna be talking about what exactly happened here. What does canceling Shibuya Halloween actually mean? Is anyone gonna show up? What is uh, the city of Shibuya doing to not promote this event and at the same time possibly promoting it? It's a little bit controversial. We're gonna talk about this and look around the area because it's also a historical thing. Whenever you try to cancel an event that you've been trying to do for the last, I don't know, 12, 10, 12 years now, it's a big deal. I, I, I would say maybe eight years they've been doing this uh, every year. And um, yeah, I'm looking across the street here. A lot of people are taking notice of the sign. Halloween apparently starts the first, the last weekend in October. That's when people start to flood the streets here. And I'm seeing uh, no Halloween costumes. It's only October 25th, but people are a little bit lively. I've been out here on the 25th where the people were in costume. Now, the Shibuya City has put out a video on Twitter that was uh, actually, it's like, it's confusing. Because again, like, this is the Japanese Twitter here, or X as they call it. The video is, is well produced, and it's like telling people not to come to Shibuya. And there's, it, it shows you the regions where, the areas of Shibuya where you shouldn't be going. Um, so when they make a video like this, here I'll show you the English one. When they put a video like this, you know, you know they mean business. And actually, when they come up with a logo like this, look at this. They took Shibuya the uh, logo and put a jack o' lantern in there. But they they have it professionally narrated and they, in English, and they don't want tourists or locals to come. See, if you're a tourist, it's much more complicated because you're not from around here. You're a guest and. There is a you know desire to want to to make sure you have a good experience. Just just over the years, it's not been a good experience, but because of a, a select few people, and those few people really do make do a lot of damage uh, in the city. And the, of course, the mayor it, it's a political thing, and the mayor does have local politics to deal about. And the majority of residents who actually live in Shibuya, there are people who live here, don't want don't want people coming to Shibuya in the middle of the night to ruin their own their own day. So then you get signs like this behind you promoting. Hello. Uh, TikTok? Uh, YouTube. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> what are you looking for? I'm not looking for anything. We're off to uh, help fun center. Oh, okay. Oh, very good. The ki any thoughts on this? Yeah. Yeah. I think in light of what happened in Korea last year, people getting killed in a stampede, an uncontrollable amount of people, it makes sense. Cautious. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, just for Halloween. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm streaming live here. Well, nice to meet you. Yeah. Oh, that was nice. I don't think I'm doing TikTok, am I? Would you would know, right? If you're doing TikTok. Um, yeah. So the mayor has been out talking about this. Let me let me see if I can bring in an article. This was just released um, on NHK World. Oh, I want to I want to show you that after this. But this was released. Okay, so this is so I, let's let me show you the reason why. Two, two, three things have really put this over the top. Where uh, the Shibuya Halloween just can't be. This article was just released by Kyoto News about an hour ago. And uh, it talks about the issues going on here. But the, the Shibuya district is already, they, despite the fact that they're dissuading partygoers and banning drinking on the streets, taking effect on Friday, this Friday coming up in 48 hours, 
until November 1st, the day after Halloween. 30 stores won't be selling booze. Uh, there's the mayor uh, uh, holding up the sign for the promotion. But this is Has Hasebasan. Um, the thing is though, like he's got a smile on his face. They made a logo for it. It seems like when you tell people to stay away, they usually will do the opposite. Many people, including visitors from abroad, are expected to converge in the district for the first Halloween since Japan downgraded the legal status of, of uh, the pandemic to, to seasonal influenza recently. We're ex extremely concerned that accidents like the fatal tragedy in Seoul last October could happen anytime, said the mayor. 150 people were, were, uh, lost their lives in Korea as a result. Um, and you can see the mayhem that happened. Um, let me show you one of the incidents that is the most concerning to people here in Shibuya. This happened, uh, this happened when uh, a, a, a party goers here got inside of a truck. It started off somewhat innocent, but you're not allowed to get into somebody's car. You know, somebody's shaking their booty and, and tweaking. It was, tweaking was pretty popular back then, apparently. What is that? And then um, they ended up flipping the car. And you know, if you know anything about Japan, and they're, and they're happy about it, this incident really put it over the top. I think they'd done stuff somewhat similar. There were arrests, but every single one of these people were arrested on uh, December 5th, I believe it was, of 2018. The police found them and arrested them. I guess they thought that they had carte, carte blanche. They could do anything that they wanted because the streets were so crowded. Yeah, not with social media around. Everybody has a camera and everybody's filming stupidity. Um, so that's one of the reasons why they banned Halloween. They had this and then they had Korea. What happened there? And we and Japan, despite having the tourists, just it's not worth it, in particular to the local residents, because the next day it is really, really disgusting on the streets here. And the acts, the the crude and rude and and nasty acts that are also going on with people drinking and a lot of people loitering around the convenience stores. The reason why they're stopping the alcohol has not much to do with just drunk people. You can get drunk anywhere. You get drunk in Rapungi, you get drunk at your house and they come out here. It has to do with hundreds of people standing around a convenience store drinking and causing trouble and everybody uh, congregating around there like a bar on the streets. So that's basically the big reason behind why they're stopping the convenience stores and, and the places from selling alcohol. They might also be asking restaurants and bars to stop sales of alcohol, but then the city would probably have to compensate the restaurants and, and izakaya for doing that, so I'm not sure on that 100%. For me, all right, the first couple of years, I thought it was really cool. I thought it was really neat that they could hold an event like this, and a lot of people were coming for it. But then after around 2017 and 2018, you started to see the mess afterwards. Nobody is really responsible when they're drinking. And in light of what's happening with uh, uh, IRL streamers on this platform called Kick, everybody knows about the guy who got arrested. I'm not gonna add any oxygen to that. I think I just did. But this has also become another reason just fortifying the decision to cancel this. What's gonna happen on the night of, of uh, Halloween though here. I, I really can't tell you that. I don't know. Um, here's what NHK reported just uh, yesterday. We know that the city of Shibuya is quite worried about this. Um, so a lot of these are coming out. So they're partnering with KDDI, which is like Docomo, one of the cell phone companies here, the big three. And they made this virtual reality thing. So uh, people who want to come to Shibuya can virtually. That's not going to work. I'm just gonna right now just say, I'm a negative person on this, I'll take it. No, people want the real thing. People aren't gonna do it virtually. Oh, let's get, let's wear our costumes and do virtual Shibuya from home. What? Now, but I give them effort for trying because you can't just do nothing. Arthur Vandalate, I saw that, thank you very much. It's nice to see you here. Um, oh, look at this. I think we just passed it here. See the uh, Mario Kart back. You can see them cruising in the distance. Somewhat annoyance, but you know, I, I live here, so it's different. 
I thought that that lady in the really bright green outfit was in a Halloween costume. I'll admit it. I was. I looked at first like, wait, someone's here for Halloween. No, that's just her fashion. I got nothing wrong with that. It's it's good at night, so you don't get hit by cars. Although it's like 11 a.m. Um, I want to take some of your questions, and if you are watching this in a playback, leave me your comments below because. Um, the day after Halloween, if I can, I'm going to try to come back here, or the day of Halloween, and just go to report on what happened um, in the morning. I think that uh, this event, something's going to happen on Halloween. I'm not sure what, but they've employed 150 off-duty, or now on-duty officers or security to help uh, patrol the streets, despite the fact that they have, they, they called off the event, and it's not an official event. People are still going to be coming here and causing trouble for the city, and the city has to make sure they don't get injured. So it's a really tough position for the city because what do you do in a case like this, right? Right, Yogi Moo writes in here, 150, they need 1,500. Well, who's going to pay for that, all right? If they called up the event, they're not making as much money, although I don't think they made that much money to begin with. People were drinking you know, beer from a convenience store and getting drunk. It's not like they're making big bucks off of this event. And I think that's another reason why it had to end. It was just, it caused, it was in the red. If it's a business decision, it's a no-brainer. Do people actually come to Tokyo for just this Halloween? There might be a few, but I'll tell you what, let me be, let me, I'm gonna be completely frank with you, all right? All right, I'm not, I'm not a, uh, a university graduate recently. I, I graduated from Ohio State back in 1997. It's a while ago, all right? So I'm up there, I'm a little bit up there in years. The Halloween event probably, probably pushed more people away from Japan that had money to spend here and brought in a lot of people that wanted to come to Japan to get drunk and hang out on the streets. I'm okay if those people that want to get drunk and hang out on the streets don't come to Japan. I'm not okay if somebody wants to come here, experience Shibuya with their family, and can't leave their hotel because there's a bunch of really drunk people out on the streets. I want you to think about it in a business sense like this. All right? I know personally, a lot of viewers are probably going to be really upset about this, some viewers. And me personally, I don't care. I feel like uh, it's a good thing for Shibuya not to hold this event anymore. Look, I mean, look at this place. Look at this place. It's just such an active, busy place, despite not having Shibuya. So, what does this mean to you? Are you going to make the trip to Shibuya or not? I'm going to walk around a little bit. I know that the signal is not going to be that great. Let me know uh, what you guys see and hear and feel in the comments. And if you're watching, you can let me know where you're watching from. It's always nice to hear from you. Shout out to Susan in Chicago. Susan just signed up for the Postcard Club. This is an episode that's getting released. It's already been uploaded. It's releasing tonight. Um, this is on the way to you. This is a sample. So if you want to get a postcard, this is a samurai, uh, samurai event that's been held for 700 years. Uh, I was there to film it, and that episode's coming tonight. So thank you, Susan, in, in Chicago. That's going out. Thanks for supporting the channel on Patreon. And thank you, Nightbot, for sharing the link. That's where you would get it. Whoa, look at this guy. He's got like a Batman mobile. And there's another attraction, like you're just, that, that is the Batman mobile, right? You're just walking around Shibuya and you'll see all sorts of really cool things. Hello. So here's the signs. This is uh, what they call basketball street these days, Shibuya Sentagai. And uh, the sign will, will tell you. All you need to know is right there. It's not a Batmobile. They have a lot of those in Florida. So there's a lot of Batman in Florida? Is that what you know?
All right, as a kid that dressed up as Batman in uh, underoos in the 1980s, I can tell you I can see the attraction a little bit. I understand that uh, uh, if you are, <laughs> if you have a kid in heart, I can't understand why an adult would wear underoos, but I'm not sure why adults dress up for Halloween either. It's an event for kids. So for me personally, I don't get it. But what are your alternatives? One, you can... Uh, you can go to parties. They have parties where you can, you pay for tickets and people dress up in costumes like masquerades. And uh, you can go to those, they're indoors. But you don't have to come to the streets and do it. It doesn't make a lot of sense. And let me tell you right now, people are going to get arrested. Every year somebody gets arrested. And if you are in that group, you get arrested too. And if, if, you, don't want to, if you want to know what it's like to be arrested, don't, it's not nice here. You'll be in there, for, not for held for 24 hours, but for 23 days as they make a case against you, reviewing all the street footage just to make sure that you're not innocent or not, not guilty. And this is something that is, uh, um, you really need to think about. All right, they're telling you, they're literally telling you not to come. So if you're around some people doing bad stuff and you get arrested too, you have been warned not to come out to the streets and dress up in a costume drunk. They'll probably take your alcohol level and see and, and ask you why did you come? You were told not to come. So basically if you if you are thinking of doing mischief, they've taken all the oxygen out and there's no reason for you to be here in a costume. You already know that and this is probably a good thing for the city because they know that people are going to come. It's just inevitable. Yeah, guilt by association. How do you know? How do you know who, who was involved in what? All you know is that you were there, you dress up in a costume, you're drunk, you might not have touched anything, but the laws in Japan are not the same as the laws in your country. Please understand that, especially if you're an American, because apparently my countrymen are the ones that have the worst problem with understanding that America ends at its borders. <laughs> That's true. Which is, a, which is a true story, but I, for me, I can't understand. Uh... All right, everybody, I'm gonna cross over here. That's about all that I wanted to, to discuss with you. I know that these streets are gonna be crowded one way or another as a result of uh, uh, the party. Is the mayor doing a good thing? I think, all right, you know what? I'm gonna right now talk to, talk to Mayor Hasiba-san. Mr. Mayor, you've done a not great, not, you've done a very bad job of telling people to stay away. Very bad job. By doing what you're doing, you're telling people to come. This is, what, this is how you let people know in the West. What you should have done is you said people live in Shibuya. Oh, well, you should have gone out and talked to some of the older people that actually live in your city, sir, and shown their faces. And you should have had your face on the streets here telling people not to come. Instead, you're in an office telling people not to come, holding up a logo created that looks fun, telling people not to do something. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me why you're doing the press releases at City Hall. You should be doing it here out on the street and telling people around here, please don't come. I, for me, I can't, I can't take it too seriously. If, I'm, if I came to Japan for Halloween and I already made plans three months ago and I just heard this news, I'm still gonna go out because that was my purpose. So I, I think that the job that the mayor did was not good and I think he deserves some criticism for it. The video that they made looks like an invitation to a lot of people. They should have had a more serious video showing the people's faces of Shibuya. People saying why they don't want it. Telling, having a local perspective of, and show the damage afterwards. They didn't do that in the video either. They didn't show the fact that there's lots of alcohol um, bottles and cans all around after the, after the event. They didn't talk about the smell that Shibuya has 
in the morning. They didn't do any of this stuff. They just wrote it on a sign and said, don't come. And that's a disaster. So I hope next year you hire me to help you advise you on how to make a more impactful video that leaves an impression on people. Because I have to be, I'm going to be honest with you, sir. That symbol looks like it's a lot of fun. I mean, I know what it means here. Shibuya, don't come for Halloween. But when you take it and you put a jack-o'-lantern in it and you put an X on it with the youth vibe here, this is like going to be someone's tattoo, sir. <laughs> someone's going to get this tattoo. All right. I bet you. All right. If, if you think that this is a cool tattoo, just write it in the comments because I know that there's going to be people. It just looks too cool, sir. And it, it fits in with the image of Shibuya. Let me show you. Look around it, sir. I mean, really? So, yeah, hire me. I, I do it for free. I just need your blessing. Because I love Tokyo, too. But I need an official ambassadorship, sir. <laughs> and I will help you. I will help dissuade people. People never listen to me anyway. It's not true. Look at this madness. And then you have kids here. Look at them. They're just doing random fun stuff. Shibuya is a fun place. It just doesn't match. Right? Look at this. It's a place of smiles. It's a place of fun. It's a place where hijinks happen and people might hurl. Is that what he's doing? Right there? Looks like he's, he had too much to drink. It's called anti-marketing. Yeah, so I can't... So my, my final thing is that I don't get it. They've anti-marketed the marketing, so they told you to stay away. And obviously, the mayor is an educated person. He, by telling people to stay away, He's basically promoting the event. It's gonna, it's, uh, Spit a Sir 3 rates in here, it's gonna be bigger than ever. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, really? It's gonna be bigger than ever. Look at the polite cue that they have to get a picture with the Hachiko statue. That's very nice. very considerate. They've gotten rid of the smoking area, I believe. There used to be a smoking area here. So there's been some really good changes. Uh, they've torn down this uh, Tokyo department store and uh, they're going to be building a, a ma much bigger and more efficient skyscraper uh, that will look the part. And the facade of Shibuya Station, I believe, is going to be changing from this green marble thing from the 1980s to something else. By the way, this is translucent. I, I think this might not even be from the 1980s. They've redone it. Whoa! All right. I didn't know this, so they've redone the front. This used to be like a marble, but they've made it look like a marble with glass, so this is new. But this this uh, has been here for a very long time of Hachiko for, I think, 40 years, since the 70s, and that's kind of neat to see uh, the art of Hachiko through the time. Like I, I think we should have to protect the art from the 1970s, don't you? Alright, there you go everybody. Whether you agree or don't agree, it's a reality. No events for Halloween. None official, but... Yes, the rooftop soccer uh, futsal place is gone. Um, I'll, bring, I'll be back tomorrow with another live stream talking about an issue in Japan. And this weekend I'll be going to Niigata Prefecture. Again, I really want to take you out to the countryside. I know a lot of you aren't viewing it so much, but yesterday, uh, two days ago I had Yakiniku uh, A5 Omigyu Wagyu lunch with Ninja. They really believe that they're Ninja. One of the guys had a university degree in Ninjitsu from Mie University, like a real thing. You, you're going to want to see this. This was uh, two days ago on this channel. 
um, and I eat some amazing Wagyu beef. Uh, check it out. Uh, we talk a lot about it as well. And then about four days ago, I went to an event um, where ninja and samurai battled in a, in a historical reenactment that takes place once a year that if you're in Kyoto at that time, you're probably going to want to take part in because it's just kind of one of a kind. And it makes a boring ruin, castle ruin, come alive because they're holding that reenactment there. I thought that was really cool. A uh, Chan, John, if you were commissioned to do an anti-Halloween campaign, it might make you a target for those unhappy with it. Same for local businesses. I'm already a target, all right? But the, th the, the difference is, when you're on the side of good, there's a lot more people that will show up uh, for you than when you're on the side of bad. Just ask Mr. Somali, who sits in a prison after being rearrested three days ago, uh, last week for, again, a crime he'd commit. By the way, he won't be going for th away for three years because they did not indict him after the 23-day uh, holding period. So they held him for another 23 days. And I think they're going to keep on doing it. I think they probably have another charge to keep him in there for a good like half a year if they wanted to, of just sitting in jail in limbo, wondering what to do as he just rots away and good riddance. But if you're bringing positivity and you're bringing a, you know, a good message, I really do think that that uh, resonates with people. I don't mind being a target. It's part of, part of the job. I live here, you know. I love this place. Maybe not Shibuya so much, but I love to, I, I do love Tokyo. I do love Japan. I love the people here. I love it when it's clean. I love how efficient it operates. I like the fact that tourists can come here and get an amazing deal, 150 yen to the dollar. Everything is cheaper. I like the fact that it, everything seems backwards and it's, it's new and unique to Westerners. I don't like violence. I don't like people getting drunk and, and, and vandalizing my city. I don't like uh, using tax money to pay for it. Oh, hello. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm, I'm actually live now. Is that okay? <laughs> I'm, oh, okay. Here, let me give you a card. You did find me, and I, I do carry these. I'm trying to... And here you go. You found me. Yeah, here you go. Do you like a card too? Yeah, there you go. You're welcome. Yeah, have a good trip. Bye bye. I want to say that we're your fans. Oh, hey. We follow you on YouTube, and thanks to your guidance, we've been planning this trip for like three years now. Whoa, through the before, pandemic. It's going to come right before COVID. Oh, and you had to cancel your trip? April, and then of course everything happened in March. And so we just met it three days ago, but I learned about you like probably a month between getting here, and we've watched all your videos. And we oh, I'm so thankful. Well, here you go. You found me uh, live out here. So much. <laughs> well, thank you. Where are you guys from? New York City. Awesome. Yes. Yeah, we're good. Kanai and I are going back because I'm from that area too. We're you go are going back. Uh, yeah, my father was born in New York. I was born down in the East Coast, so. We got family all over the place there. It's just, it's, it's just amazing because we, we walked, we were just down in uh, the Beijing Temple, right? Yeah. Um, and then we just got here. We literally were standing here, and I swear I heard your voice in my head. <laughs> and I turn around, and your hat's such a obvious. I am slightly loud when I'm live streaming, no, but. We, we just happen to be standing that close. Correct. I overpowered the speakers around here. You can catch me. <laughs> well, I, that makes me happy, so it's okay. No, thank you. So again. we love you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, guys. Love thank you. you. Yeah, have a good day. You. That's right. When I'm ranting about no Halloween, I am loud. I can overpower these speakers. I have the power of being loud. John is the secret leader of the Shibuya party. He says, yeah, yeah, I'm not Michael. Don't put those crazy thoughts into people's heads. I'm a man walking around yelling at a camera now. Look at me. Only slightly loud. Thank you, Johnny. I'll take that. Anyways, let me just put an end to this. I appreciate everybody uh, watching and putting up with this. Let me know your thoughts below about what do you feel about Shibuya not having this?
event. I mean, I, I really do like the logos. I do think this is going to be somebody's tattoo eventually, if not this one here. Um, this is the Shibuya kanji, for the first kanji for Shibuya with alcohol on the bottom. That's actually really creative. That's pretty creative. I have to be loud to drink, to uh, not drink, but to, to talk over the loud speakers all around me. And when I speak, I want to be heard, let's be honest. I don't mind. When I speak on a platform, but once I turn this off, I talk like, I talk like this. I think Halloween is in Japanese. All right, so this is really good uh, uh, feedback here. Totally, Saya writes in here, totally fine with no Halloween events in Shibuya. It's just drinking crazy parties anyways. Um, they got, that's got to be rewarding when fans, that it is, thank you. I think, uh, Beno writes in here, I think Halloween isn't Japanese culture, it's culture vandalism. The, what, what's been happening here is, but, let me see, what other comments here? The marketing company that came up with that logo kanji must have charged heaps. I, I, I reckon they probably did. It's, con it's good, right? It's, they, they charge, you, you think that because it's good. John spent time in gas panic, pretty sure he was up to shenanigans when he was younger. Um, no, I did go to gas panic a lot. I don't know what a lot means. Maybe like four or five times in my life, is that a lot? I didn't do any shenanigans. I never picked anybody up in a Tokyo bar because I'm bad at it. And if you see this face coming and you're of the opposite sex, most likely compared to the really attractive and uh, other guys that did their hair and stuff, yeah, I was not, and, had, and dressed the part, I was not one of those people. And I did not go for the music either. It was usually an eclectic mix of Michael Jackson's Beat It and then with some Nirvana and then with some house music. It made no sense at a lot of these bars. They, the DJs back then were really not creative like they are now, they're quite good now. But um, now, I have zero success with women and when I, I found Kanai, I knew, I knew that this was it and she does not know about all of my failures but that's better because I didn't fail because I wasn't trying. I don't know. <laughs> TMI. All right. How much? So how much did they charge for this one then? I think this is so creative, though. No smoking in Shibuya, which is true. So if you think that I was up to some shenanigans, you don't know me. I I think the most vandalism that I ever did when I started my I started a company a really long time ago. I remember I. Uh, passed out flyers to get people to sign up for what I was doing, this on, online English language thing. And I passed out flyers and then people, I saw them, had, people had thrown the flyers on the ground at the crossing over there. And I, I guess indirectly, like I saw my flyers on the street over there and indirectly I think I created vandal, um, uh, littering and that, that made me upset. I, I cleaned it up. That's, that's about as bad. I can't think of anything else I've done. And I'm not sure I would admit it. These people are the people that will not be going to Halloween. All right, any more feedback here? The live stream that convinced me to follow John was when he introduced Kanai. Really? When she danced? That's one of my favorite ones. I have my hat on backwards and she just, in, in an impromptu, unpracticed dance and it was stunning and I don't know if she could do that today but that was like five four years ago five years ago now wow more than five years ago all right all the comments are about my my uh, my badness and my wedding now <laughs> I watched some of that enter the ninja yeah that was a good episode uh, Lord Rash writes in here, New York meetup. We're not, I'm not sure we're going to be going to New York, but if we do, there's a possibility we we're going to do a meetup there because anytime we get a chance to meet up with our New York crew, it's really cool. We haven't done a West Coast 
uh, swing in, uh, in the U.S. because we just don't have any family there. Not any direct family, but we have all of you. So I would come and see UFO Bob and, and see uh, you know JKO Adventures and go see Hello High 821. I, that, that's almost worth renting a car and swinging up and down here to, to see you guys, including a friend of mine who's here right now, Dan from uh, the channel What's Inside, he's here. And uh, I'll try to catch up with him at, at the end of the week, which is like tomorrow maybe, or Friday. Don't know. Shan writes in here, simple solution. Hold an official event in an appropriate location with security and proper crowd control. Yes! Somebody pay Chan. Chan, can I reverse that super chat? Uh, in the spirit of getting paid for good work? Um, I think for Shibuya to make this work, they need to have an alternative event or offer something to the people who come and say, no, don't come here. We've rented this center. We're charging a thousand yen. Go there. And you can drink. And you'll be ex and there'll be a, a free uh, booze bus for people who pass out to get back to their hotel. That sounds good to me. Roger Rio Fourth writes in here. Roger Rio Fu. Hi John, is it possible that a new restriction law might be emerging from now on because of the that guy, the same as the Prohibition trash can in the metro in the early 1990s? That's tomorrow's live stream. I don't want to talk about it today. That's tomorrow's live stream. I have some developments on this, so we'll get into it. But what I do is not R-I-L. It's not in real life. I'm not walking around showing my life live. I'm making an episode, a bit, even though they could be as long as an hour or 35 minutes right now. I'm kind of sharing that with you. And, and maybe that's one reason why this channel it hasn't been as successful, because I'm not doing that. But I guess, for me, I don't watch IRL, so I don't see the value in it. But I see the value in you guys joining me for a small bit. And if it's good, you're going to want to watch it later. So, and I'm going to be maybe changing this format a little bit as a result of it. So tomorrow's live stream, we'll talk about that. I'm glad you brought it up. Mr. Clueless. Guys, if you don't mind, this is uh, three, one more week to get this postcard. It's really cool. You can see the samurai are uh, descendants of samurai in a battle. And these two flags are, were shot with a fireworks cannon and there's a battle royale to grab one and it gets pretty heated. Um, and on the back is Izumi Kawasan and he's got an ancient samurai stare. It's hardcore. And that episode's getting released to, tonight. It's already been uploaded. Thank you for the subtitle team. We got some people adding in subtitles. Someone who does French, Spanish, I think. But if you can, that help help us out. We have a team on Discord. Thank you. But to answer your question, yes and no. The law is here. So cop car. It's a high possibility. Thank you for, for the, the question. I agree with you. Really prefer John's style. Three years of postcards. Really? Yeah, Jennifer, you would have. This is already three years? Wow. You can put them in a little collection. They, they do. What is this? Look on the other side. There's some sort of salary man. Like a bunch of people in suits. Maybe I... There's always some sort of weird event happening here in Shibuya. But they also dissuade people from running into the middle and doing stupid things because this is an intersection. And just because you're a tourist doesn't mean you can do whatever you want. And just because Japanese are polite does not mean that you can run all over them because they will eventually get you and you'll pay the price. And if you do, it sucks. All right, everybody, that's all I have from Shibuya. I don't come here very I don't come here very often, but when I do, 
I, I am here. <laughs> I don't know what else I'm supposed to say there. I am, that guy looked like uh, um, Cameron, the, the movie director. And they turned around and he had a mustache. I see a lot of doppelgangers. Imagine if Ralph Macchio came here. I see a lot of people that could be famous, but they're not. Or they are? Like I saw that, that one guy, he looked like that guy, the uh, mailman from Cheers back in the 1980s, but the younger version of him. It's really amazing. And you get to see people not just from the US, but all over the world, which is just so awesome. That's what I like being an expat or somebody visiting Japan. Um, I like that. It's, it's not just, I'm, I'm, I'm surrounded by a, a, a very global group of people. And uh, that's good. There's the police box right there, the Koban. All right, everybody, things are coming out. Those who, who came out to follow me, I'll be back tomorrow. And then I'll be taking you this weekend to Niigata Prefecture, which is, I think, should uh, really close to Tokyo countryside. There's a festival going on over there. So I'll share with you uh, a little bit of Japan's other pair parts. So don't forget to subscribe. See ya. Mata ne. Boy, this is all gonna be really amazing in about it, two years from now. But the construction here continues. Mata ne.